And this will be our third example of an optimization type problem. Here we're going to suppose a lifeguard can run along the beach at 3 meters per second and can swim at 1 meter per second. If a person is trapped on a buoy 20 meters offshore and this buoy is 30 meters downshore from where the lifeguard is, where should the lifeguard enter the water in order to minimize the time it takes to reach the trapped person? Well, let's draw a picture. So we have a shore here and water out in here. Then suppose the lifeguard is here and they want to run along the beach for a certain time. And at some point they are, would be perpendicular to, uh, they would be at a line that is uh, perpendicular to the shore, um, that minimum line to f get to the buoy where a person is uh, currently holding onto the buoy. And we want to know, right, if this is 20 meters here, this distance here is 20 meters, and this distance is 30 meters, we want to know where along the beach the lifeguard should enter the water in order to minimize the time it takes for the lifeguard to get to this person, right? They could have run along the beach for 30 meters and then swim out for 20 meters. They could just directly start swimming here, uh, or they could go to some point in between and then start swimming. So where would it be in between here where they would minimize the time it takes to uh, get to this person at the buoy? Well, how do we do that? We want to minimize time. So let's come up with a time function. Well, what is the time the person will spend, the lifeguard will spend running along land? Time is, notice that time is distance divided by uh, velocity, right? You might remember that uh, velocity is distance divided by time. So we can then solve for time by multiplying by time on both sides, then dividing by velocity here. And so you get time is equal to distance divided by velocity. So along land, the time is 30 minus x over the velocity, which is 3 meters per second, right? And so 30 minus x is the meters. If, this, if we declare our x to be the distance from here to here. Or in other words, 30 minus x times 1 third. Now, what is, the dis what is the time it would take for the person to swim, the lifeguard to swim to the buoy? That part of the problem here. Well, that is the distance, which is square root of x squared plus 20 squared, which is 400, are divided by the time, but the time, or sorry, no, divided by the velocity, but the velocity is one meter per second. So we get this expression right here here, which we can rewrite as t is equal to 10 minus 1 third x uh, plus x squared plus 400 to the 1 half power. Okay, and then to minimize this function, we need to find the derivative and set it equal to 0. Alright, so this is negative 1 third plus one half x squared plus 400 to the negative one half times two x. If we rewrite this, this is negative one third plus x over the square root of x squared plus 400. All right, we wanna set that equal to zero. This means we do one third is equal to x over the square root of x squared plus 400. Uh, multiply by, well, I cross multiply here, we can get 3x is equal to the square root of x squared plus 400. Okay, and then we can square both sides, so we get 9x squared is equal to x squared plus 400. We're assuming x is positive here. 
Uh, so we don't need to make any adjustments to our problem. Uh, and then from here, we can subtract the x squared over and we get 8x squared is equal to 400. Okay, so divide by 8, we get x squared is equal to 50. And so x is equal to the square root of 50. Okay, which is approximately 7.07. .07. Now, how do we minimize our time here, right? Uh, let's go ahead. We have a closed interval here. The closed interval is x must range between 0 and 30. All right, if we look back at our picture, x is 0 means we run all the way to directly across from the buoy and then we make a right angle turn to travel into the water. If x is 30, then we enter the water immediately. And then for x equal to 7.07, .07, or in other words, the square root of 50, so this would mean we would run a little less than 23 meters along the water, uh, along the shore, and then enter the water. Um, we need to check all three of those possibilities and find the minimum value on that list. All right, well, what is t of zero? This is, all right, what is our original function up here? We get uh, 10 minus one third times x. If x is zero, this is just 10. Uh, if x is zero, we get plus the square root of 400, which the square root of 400 is 20. So we get 30. If t is 30, we get, uh, sorry, if t, not t is 30. If x is 30, then this part right here is 0. So we just get the square root of 30 squared, which is 900, plus 400. That's the square root of 1,300. Uh, I happen to know that 35 squared is 1,225. So the square root of 1,300 is certainly bigger than 35. So if we're trying to minimize, we can go ahead and get rid of that as a possibility. That will certainly not minimize our time because we've already found something smaller. Okay. And then finally, t of root 50 well, we plug this into the original function. So this is 10 minus root 50 over 3 plus uh, the square root of root 50 squared. Well, that's just 50 plus 400. Okay. And what is that? This is approximately 28.85 seconds. So that will, in fact, minimize our time. And we can shave off about a second by entering the water a little earlier than directly across from this buoy. All right. And that will end this example on our optimization.